So how do you transition carpet to a hardwood floor on a new construction install? Well, in this video, I'm gonna break down two different strategies you can use to get into this. What's cracking? It's Michael Alder here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com. And yes, indeed, if you noticed in the beginning of the video, there's a little bit of tack strip under the edge of the carpet. Now, traditionally, installers would set the tack strip back roughly a quarter inch from the threshold, stretch onto that, and trim and tuck in between the tack strip and the hardwood threshold. Me personally, I've noticed over the years they like to work themselves loose no matter how great everything is. So I like to actually butt the tack strip up to the threshold to raise it up a little bit. And then I do a turn and tack on top of the tack strip. So I rolled under the first section there and you cut the carpet so it's about one inch hefty over the threshold. That way when you fold it under, see like I'm doing here, it's only carpet on top of the tack strip and not actually on top of the padding because that'll bump it up too much. So we're gonna go ahead and do a rough roll all the way across. And when I get to the other end there, I'm gonna take my kicker and go back to where I started, give it a little stretch just to pull some basic slack out. And then I'm gonna take my electric tacker, spread the nap of the carpet, and we're gonna shoot it down into place. And we're just gonna slowly work our way all the way across the doorway here, making a nice, beautiful transition that you don't have to worry about the carpet coming loose. It's just carpet directly to hardwood. Everything's great and looking fantastic. So we're gonna work our way to the end here, give it another stretch. Take the tacker, boom, 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 shoot it down. The key is to spread the nap on the carpet to hide the staples. Now you're gonna see them initially, you just blend them in like that and you're good to go. Everybody's happy, you hit it with the vacuum one time, they'll totally disappear. I hope. No, seriously, they do though. So that's how you do it the first strategy. We're gonna jump into another doorway here where I'm gonna give you in a different approach to it and you can figure out what's gonna be the best fit for you in your particular scenario. So let's dive into that right now. Okay, we're at the next doorway here. Same exact house, same style threshold, but no tack strip on this one. Now the reason we're doing no tack strip is just to give you a different look. This one is going to set completely flush to the reducer. The other one was just bumped up slightly. Just doing two different strategies here. Either one was fine. It wasn't a real aggressive bump up or anything. I just like to see what's possible and give people options so they know what to do with their particular house. So right now I'm doing a rough cut on everything, getting it down and manageable so you could go ahead and actually work with what's going on. Now I'm going to start rolling that under and I think in this one we actually notice I go a little bit hefty with it so I got to peel it back out and trim it down a little bit see I could feel it sitting on top of the pad and you don't want that so we're gonna shave you know about a half inch off of that just to get it exactly where I need it remove that excess all the way down watch your fingertips if you're not a pro go extra slow I don't want anybody getting hurt following these videos here so we're gonna go ahead and roll that under now and the carpet is gonna line up directly with the pad under it not causing a bump but a nice even flow I'm just going to take the tacker and shoot it right down, secure that into place. Once we have a starting point locked on, we can go ahead and move forward to the left and to the right, getting all this down through and through. So next section's locked down. I'm going to kick that up, take the tacker, and go ahead and throw a couple staples in it to secure it into place for us. Working our way down to the kicker head and all the way over to the door jam. Now this is the starting point in the room here. So once this is set, you can see behind me there, none of the carpet has been stretched on yet. So I'll kick away from that and get everything tight and ready to rock. So if you have any questions about how to do transitions or the carpet and flooring industry in general, you know to comment below. I'm gonna create a follow-up video answering your questions for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll connect with you on the next one.